I'm on my way to the train station. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to take the train from Kitchener on the go all the way to Union Station in Toronto. This bridge is the one you're looking for. Yeah, so what you do is you go this way, underneath the bridge, and you have to find Victoria Street. Victoria Street is uh, the one that the train station is located on. Alright, this is the corner that the station's on. There's one of the trains in the station. Hopefully it's the early train and I'm not missing it. Yeah, there goes the train pulling out. Alright, that was just the early train that was leaving. I didn't miss my train. Um, so yeah, this is what the station here looks like. It's convenient so if the teller inside is closed, you can just go in here. You can pay with debit or cash. And refill your Presto card. Your Presto card gives you a discount on riding the, the train and the other GO services. This thing here is called the, the tap machine and if you've already got money on your card and you know your destination's programmed into it, you can just tap the machine with your card and then that'll give you the, the fare automatically so you can just do that quick to board the train. So you just tap off and on every time you use the card depending how you have it set up. Yeah, so this is where you'll need to go inside if you want to speak to an agent to get your tickets. Uh, I think they have someone there before each train leaves. I hope. Or I might just try to figure out how to use the machine with my credit card. <laughs> Alright, wish me luck. They also got some service changes coming to the kitchen line. If you want to check out this sign here. Starting J June 1st won't be available at the counter. All right, so this counter thing's limited. All right, I managed to buy my ticket from the machine, got a day pass, came to uh, show the total up on the screen in a sec. I think it was about 32 bucks. And couldn't use my Presto card properly, so I just ended up paying with my credit card, but at least I got the ticket for the day. And Attention passengers. Due to winter conditions, Via Rail Canada would like to remind. Alright, there was a winter condition alert there. But, uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is wait here in the shelter. They got some buttons that you can press to turn on heaters. See, so you just take your hand, hit that button. See, so you can put your hands up and warm them up. If the station's closed. Yeah, so that was just the, uh, the alert. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to wait here for the train and uh, maybe I'll show you guys what it looks like inside or when the train is pulling up. It's a little bit cold, but these shelters with the heaters really help. Attention all passengers. Via Rail would like to remind you to hold on to the handrail to avoid falling on the stairs. Yeah, so that's those handrails they're talking about. I definitely wouldn't like them. <laughs> it's a little bit cold still. Now today's forecasting is so bad, it's in the negative, but not by very much. Although the way my nose is running, you'd never guess. <laughs> The right, train I'm looking for comes in at 8 o'clock. Planning on making purchases on board? We'd like to remind you that only credit cards and Via Rail gift cards are accepted. Vous comptez faire des achats à bord du train? Nous vous rappelons que seules les cartes de crédit et les cartes cadeaux Via Rail sont acceptées. So the 
trains here early, so we're going to jump on. Might as well get a seat before it fills up. Well, Kitchener is the first stop, so we usually have the most seats to choose from. it will fill up the closer we get to Toronto. So you just, just bring your ticket with you. If you sit on the bottom, you can talk, but if you sit on the top floor, it's silent, so I guess I'll sit on the bottom. And they're pretty strict about the talking rules on the top floor, so... Automatic doors. They also have washrooms on the train, which is nice. Got washrooms, garbages. Oh, there we go. It says on the back. This is open though, it's the easiest. Looks like you are allowed to bring bikes on the train as well. Yeah, when I'm taking the train, I usually like to sit on the, the bottom floor just because it doesn't shake as bad as the top floor. You can talk. And I like to sit on the side where the sun isn't rising so it's not in your eyes the whole way, too. Now, if you're lucky, you can get on the train early and you can sit the direction you're going. Sit backwards, it's kind of a bit nauseating. Yeah, the seats are pretty comfortable. I kind of wish they were all leather though. There's not really a whole lot of room. If you have to sit across from people either, it gets pretty tight. Especially if you have long legs. One minute to departure, one minute. Final call for the doors. Please stand clear, the doors are now closing.
Well, we left at 8 a.m. and it's 10 a.m. now, so the train made it here on time. Next thing I'll be doing is going into the station and trying to find my way to the subway line. Um, the station that we get off here is the same one as the subway station, so it's pretty easy to find. What I usually do is just wait for the tunnel to not be so busy. Yeah, Union Station is pretty cool. It's got the, the old architecture. It's got a mall in the basement so that you can uh, eat food. And you can catch the Via Train here, the subway, the GO service, and the Greyhounds across the street. Uh, for years they used to have construction going here at Union Station, but it looks like they have it all finished now. And you can also catch the train to get to the airport from this station as well. <laughs> 